Hello, uh, my name is uh, Jonas Forslund and I'm going to uh, demonstrate the Cobra simulator. By using uh, this uh, haptic device I can uh, feel the virtual uh, teeth inside this uh, mannequin. So the mannequin itself, uh, it doesn't have any teeth, just uh, a hole. But the mannequin gives good uh, and accurate hand support for the procedure at hand. With the 3D glasses, I see a stereoscopic image projected down here through this uh, mirror. So the image plane is co-located with the patient's or the mannequin's mouth. And in that way, I can see and actually feel the teeth where I see them. And I can start drill by using the foot pedal. And, and I get to um, feel and I can adjust the speed uh, for the procedure at hand. By pressing down the other pedal, I can switch the tool to an elevator. And with the elevator, I can extract uh, or try to uh, separate the crown from the root. And uh, that is the first step in this uh, procedure, that after you have removed enough bone, you go on to separate the crown from the root and uh, later you remove the root as well using the elevator. One important aspect of the Cobra design is that it, it, it is modularized. That means for example that we can change the haptic device when something else comes around or to a cheaper or more expensive one. And as you see uh, this is a, a regular phantom desktop uh, haptic device that is very common uh, in the research uh, field of uh, haptic feedback. The mannequin we use here is uh, specially designed for this particular case uh, where it's Im important that you come in from this angle when you do the operation uh, and uh, in different uh, situations it can be uh, different that uh, the teacher want to uh, show to the students uh, that they should operate from a certain angle or working a different way and in that case we could change this uh, mannequin to to something else and we make this uh, by ourselves and uh, according to a specific design and a cost from a real patient so if you want to remove the mannequin and exchange it for something else all you need to do is to lift it away and these are the, the cables to the, the haptic device which fits very well here and uh, when you are done for the day you can just close it up And the same my loves for for uh, for this. So this is how it looks from uh, behind. Uh, you can open the back door here. You find um, all the components there is. So it is the uh, abandoned touchscreen uh, computer that slides in and out like this. Uh, there is uh, power, for example, for the, for, for the haptic device, and there is uh, a standard 19-inch uh, computer. And this computer uh, is, of course, changeable, the, the whole uh, computer, or separate parts if uh, that is really what you, uh, what you want to do. As you said, uh, this uh, simulator is uh, all about uh, open architecture and uh, open source code. So for those universities who really do want to, to uh, fiddle and change stuff, that is uh, very welcome and, and we are encouraged uh, to, to do so. In the same time, if you do not want to, to change anything, you just want to, to use it and uh, have the best use of it, well, you just leave it here and, and uh, close the door. And um, uh, that's, uh, that's about it, actually.